Hey everybody, what's up? I'm gonna do a review on a new episode of Yahari or no Sisuin Love Kami Wa Machigeto Zoku. In other words, you could call it um, my Teen Romantic Kami Snafu 2 or Origaru 2. Now, this episode right here, which is episode 7, which got subbed out many, many minutes ago, which kind of got subbed out late, so I decided to stay up and watch it due to some circumstances and what I like to do. Well, I'm kind of pretty ticked off right now, well, not just because of what happened today, but certain aspects just did not seem go so well for me, especially around the end of the day, etc. So if anything else, let's go. Okay, at the beginning of the episode, we see to it that our buddy um, Hachiman Hiki is pretty much is pretty much helping out the um, student council president, you know, going here, going there, doing some favors, and... As for Yui, um, um, coming by, seeing Hiki, how he's doing, you know, and he seems to be fine overall. And so far to it, the episode just shows, like, probably some events and procedures going into a daily routine for our characters. But Hiki tells y Yuki Yukinon and Yui that he's going to have to leave early for a bit since he has to, like, um, help out, has to take care of a couple... Event, events or procedures with the student council, you know, and yeah, during the time, you know, we have some changes with Hachiman here and there, asking himself some questions about what to do for the meantime, and pretty much they all seem to be related to if he should make a change or not, possibly, that's what I'm thinking or guessing right now, but later as the roll goes down, you know, um, eventually around... The time he get he we meet a uh, same similar character which is um I think Surumi Rumi I believe it's the little girl from the first season that had some issues with some people that she's always been by herself you know and with a couple with a couple little kids helping out to do some decorations you know Hiki decides to help her out with the golden stars here and there and they have a little small talk but. Pretty much not like a conversational one, like anything that you can relate to life with, like you're talking to a friend, etc., and so forth, you know? That kind of thing. Anyways, as the episode progresses with its own trinket, own pr procedure, we see to it that eventually around the end of the episode, I believe, sorry for skipping all the way down there, um, well, not, we'll get to the end of the episode. Sorry for like being disorganized for the meantime. We see to it that there's been some issues. There might be some problems about budget for Hachiman or for the student council president, student student council trying to like um, put up a Christmas event, which is pretty worrisome because budget could always be a major issue and problem right in the right in the gut of a person, you know. So, yeah, that's one thing I um, that people should try to look into and understand fully, you know, and. Un it became understandable so yeah anyways as the episode progresses on we see to it that our buddies have um we had we see to it that Yukino and Hiki Hachima uh, met at the end of the episode in the same store Yukino is pretty concerned and knows that Hachi that Hiki has been helping out the student council especially the girl he assisted to become a president Hickey, on the other hand, says he, he he didn't he wasn't gonna lie or he wasn't lying, you know. Even Yukino knew that, but she told him this: you don't have to force yourself to come by if you want to keep an eye on, eye on us or take care of us, you know. Which was really shocking because I'm not really sure if Hickey was really doing that or if he's just doing it just to kill time or something, you know. That's that's what I've been seeing a lot in him lately when I saw the first season and when I saw um this season, but. I don't think it's really like that anymore, but it could possibly be something else. And Hachiman was pretty shocked about what she. What he might be shocked the way I looked at his face expression, like um, the way how he heard um, you can know say that. But understandable, like um, so there are some things here and there that you just can't like um, change at certain points, you know. So yeah. Anyways, I thought this up. And it ends off right there. Next episode, it looks like there's going to be some eventual procedure that might make a couple change of events. But who knows? That's all I can think of right now. Overall, it was a nice episode. Seeing Hickey, thinking to himself, talking, and so forth. 
and asking questions of what to do. But, yeah, nothing more. There were a couple funny scenes here and there, though. Didn't give, didn't give me a good mood to laugh due to some certain events happening to me about many men about like two or three hours ago which still ticks me off so yeah i'm just gonna leave it at that for now people um i'll see you guys in my next in my next um video which will be in about like possibly nine hours or so um don't don't i'll let you guys know like um what's up all right i'll see y'all till then i'm off for zero have a good day and i'll see you guys next time all right peace out bye bye